probably know Elvis Durant from his popular morning show and his Artist of the Month segment with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Well, Hoda caught up with the National Radio Hall of Famer at his home here in New York to talk about his career, life outside the studio, and what his future holds. 20 years, Elvis. Did it go by in a blink, or does it feel like it's been 20 for you It's guys? like lightning. You know, my mom always said, uh, the older you get, the faster it goes, and it's been lightning speed. All right, so. During his 20 years hosting Elvis Duran in the morning show, the 51-year-old has interviewed music icons like Billy Idol, Mariah Carey, and U2, to today's hottest stars like Adele, Carrie Underwood, and Justin Bieber. Sit down, Justin Bieber's here. Welcome to here. Who was your favorite guest all time? The electric ones? You know, Gaga is a great example. When she walked into the studio and she covered her mouth, she said, oh my God, I grew up listening to you. I'm thinking, that's Lady Gaga. <laughs> I mean, she wow. said that to you? Yeah, this is kind of weird. <laughs> Growing up in a small town outside of Dallas, Texas, even as a young child, Elvis knew he wanted to be on the radio. I was sort of a loner little kid. Didn't really fit into Boy Scouts or sports or whatever. And I, I had a lot of uh, play-like scenarios where I would Actually, I started my own little radio station in my closet. You did? Absolutely. We, we, we hooked it up to a little transmitter I bought at Radio Shack that you could hear maybe a block away. Yeah. And I actually did a radio show that my block could hear. So was it 14? Was that the first time you did it for real? Yeah, 14 years old. Okay. This little station that no one listened to. And uh, it was a great place to learn. You wound up at Z100. Where were you in between those two points? Wow. Well, back in those days, radio people went from market to market. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, McKinney to San Antonio to Houston to Atlanta to Philadelphia, fired from Philadelphia. Why? Because they didn't like me. Uh, Wait, <laughs> what does it feel like to get fired? It was good, actually. What? I came to New York. And now our morning show, which is on, in over 88 markets across the country and, you know, and on satellite, now our morning show is on the radio station that fired me. So, hi. Living his life on the radio for listeners five days a week, he shared highs, lows, and major milestones for the world to hear, from being live on the air during 9-11. The World Trade Center is on fire. Oh, my goodness. Losing around 100 pounds and coming out during a live broadcast. You also did something, and I don't think you planned it, but one day you were on the radio, I think it was 2010, and you came out about your sexuality. Yeah. And it wasn't like you said, you didn't wake up and say, today's the day. It just happened. You know, I've, I've never lied about who I am, about being a gay guy. Uh, I just never talked about it. But you know, I was thrust out into the dating world, and I really had a story to tell, which I thought could be sort of relatable to everyone. And after that day, when, when you, you know, you, you looked around at your crew, what was the reaction among the group? Um, it was mixed. I mean, yeah. some people were like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And then there was that like, one weirdo, I didn't know. I mean, you didn't know. <laughs> OK, <laughs> you're right. Hello. Um, you know what? It's been nothing but support. And for the past six years, he's been in a serious relationship with a zookeeper named Alex. When you are not working, and you have a free moment, what would you do if you just had a window of time and no one around? I'd turn the music on. I always listen to music. I always have music. And even when I'm alone, those are my favorite times to be with my guy, you know? I, I, I would rather be with him than be alone. And radio was my with more than 30 years in the business, Elvis was inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame in 2015 and set to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next year. What do you see ahead down the road? I mean, you hit 20 years with this great crew. What do you see down the runway? As long as I'm doing this, and as long as I have people I love and trust around me, working with great people, I see myself doing that forever. Forever. Yeah. Big congratulations nice. to Elvis cool. Duran on 20 mm -hmm. years. It's great. We yeah. do love him. I grew up uh, around here in New York. Yeah. I remember listening to him on Z100. Now mm -hmm. to see him blow Always. up around the country. It's yeah. great. It's and a great guy. We're a glad great guy, for too. It. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.